What's up guys, Jay here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 18 now of the Giro d'Italia. We are heading towards Milan but today we head into Stradella, the longest stage of the race as well. And it's very flat for the first, pretty much 90% but we do have some hills to shake things up in the final. Away we go then and it seems we're going to get some very good race days here. Jens Kukulea gets a very nice plus five today. Also Bessio, nice plus day in that beautiful Ciclamino jersey. He's been allowed to attack in this playthrough, unlike in real life, of course. And I think we'll try and get up the roads again with him today. Let's try and get Kukulea as well up in the breakaway. So actually, we've ended up with a very different rider up the roads. We have Mikhail Honoré joined by Julius Vandenberg. And the breakaway or the peloton weren't really letting any type of breakaway go. So we've kept our main options, Bessio and Kukulea, back in the peloton to attack later on these final climbs whilst Vandenberg representing us up the roads. So the breakaway have actually taken the first places at the intermediate sprint, but now we have Giacomo Nizzolo, Caleb Buen as well, going for these points and Quebec or Assos really giving Nizzolo a big lead out here. And we do have a little cobbled section, uh, section here. Let's see if that helps Bessio. No, it doesn't at all, but we will pick up at least a few points, even if we drop a few to Nizzolo, which is of course to be expected. Still holding a nice lead there. And you know what, PCM guys, it's being weird because we have a six minute lead up the roads with Julius Vandenberg and Mikhail Honoré here. I'm not really working with him very hard at all. I will do a bit. It looks like the stage is going to go to Honoré or Vandenberg. I have no idea what the guys are doing behind, but they seem to be having a bit of a day off. And so I've turned up the rhythm a bit, turned the screw a bit in the peloton, tried to make it a bit more difficult here with the stage win all but wrapped up for the guys in the breakaway. And to be honest, I think Mikel Honoré has a really good chance of beating Julius Vandenberg here. I'm not sure how we're going to beat the Danish man. He's a very good puncher, pretty good sprinter, pretty much a better rider than Vandenberg right here. So right now, guys, 17k to go. We're still working with Honoré up the road, and now we are coming into the punchy sections, which really suits him a lot more than us. Only four and a half minutes now back to the guys behind. We're still working there. I'm going to try and push on in the hills. And here we go. Luckily, I was watching because Mikel Honoré is trying to attack Julius Vandenberg. And this is where I'm getting very, very worried indeed because he's just too strong on the climb, surely. Here goes Mikel Honoré going for the stage win. Can he kick away from Julius Vandenberg? No, he can't for now. Okay, and Vandenberg is going to be glued to his wheel. I can assure you of that as stuff is happening behind too. So coming to the top of the final little punchy climb before uh, a little hill after which isn't quite a steep. Here goes Honoré again. He's a better descender as well than Julius Vandenberg and this is not ideal behind. I'm going to put our guys up to maybe 90, all of them over the top here. Whilst watching up the road, Almeida has fallen behind. It's all going on into the final 10k but Vandenberg is surviving right now. And you know what? He's tried us. Let's go on the attack here. Julius Vandenberg on the counter attack past Mikel Honoré. Oh my, we have a gap. We have a gap over Mikel Honoré here onto the Caneto Pavese. I have no idea if I've said that correctly, but Vandenberg, just go 99. Give your all here. You have to try and go early. And here comes Honoré. We're pretty much all in here. And he's cruising up to the back of the Dutchman here, and this is not ideal. Now we've played our card. Here comes Honoré, we'll go back to his wheel, and I'm pretty sure he's going to have the kick to come past us into the final 5K, but he sits up yet again. So 6K to go, here goes Honoré again into the descent, and this time, this time I think we cannot follow, but the descent comes just in time for Julius Vandenberg, literally just in time. If we win this stage, it's going to be an absolute miracle here. Three and a half K to go, we are just clinging on to his wheel in this descent and he sits up yet again. 3k to go. Can we get back to that wheel? Yes, we can. Just about. There he goes. Mikel Honoré trying to win the stage and I don't think we can follow right now with Julius Vandenberg. He's just too strong. Coming into the final kilometer. Here comes Vandenberg. But Mikel Honoré has us here. He is going to win into Stradella just ahead of Julius Vandenberg. It's heartbreak for the Dutchman behind. It really is. We've tried to press on in this group here with 2k to go. Betiel is going to sprint for some good Chiclamino jersey points, which he can do right here. So can Jens Kukula as well. Betiel, I think, is going to beat Giacomo Nozolo. Perfect for us right there. Oh my word, I'm gutted. I thought we had a chance, but Honoré just too good. PCM, you're weird. What a weird stage. No one really rode in the peloton, which means it was Vandenberg versus Honoré. I don't know why 
I dropped back Kukala. I should have kept Kukala on the plus five day up in the breakaway. In the end, I expected the breakaway to be doomed from the get-go. A two-man breakaway on a 230-kilometer stage. I'm not sure about it, but great day again for Betty Old's Chiclamino jersey chase, and we look very good here now. But the final stage is all about the GC, and we're just over two minutes down on Egan Bernal. Mikel Landa is in the middle. Yates, Bardet, they're probably too far back, I would suggest, but Carthy is ready to make his assault on the Maglia Racer. And that will start with the Alpe de Mira, and it's going to be a big mountain stage. Not as big as stage 20, but we do have an opportunity here to really mix things up, I think that this climb here has been altered due to real life events. I'm not sure if we'll have an altered version for the stage tomorrow. I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's stage and I hope you guys are looking forward to that. If you are, drop a like on the video today, drop a sub if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.